Hello YouTube, this is Mayan J and today I'm going to be doing the review uh, which is going to be short review of the uh, Zoophone i5 uh, also known as Goophone i5 now this phone I believe is more uh, I believe this is 100% the, the Goophone i5 even though I ordered it from uh, dhgate.com uh, DH and uh, I got it from a seller named eFit eFit all spelled together, I'm going to be providing the link below I uh, purchased it for uh, $200 plus shipping. Okay, and uh, of course, you can already tell the difference between the sensors. So that's how we can tell that this is the original. And I'm also going to turn on Siri. Uh, see? Hello, Siri. Siri says hi back. There you go. So here on the left, we had the original iPhone. On the right, we have the Goofone i5 okay now once again I ordered this phone as a as a uh, as a Zoophone i5 okay uh, now one thing I like about this phone so far is that as you can see from from the viewing angles the screen almost looks like retina display even though it's not the original retina it does have a high uh, resolution but the resolution of this phone is uh, 960 by 540 uh, pixels of resolution. Now the website I ordered it from claims that this is retina display. Um, it does look uh, high quality though. It looks uh, better than the Thunderbird i5. Even on viewing angles as you can see it does look pretty good. Okay now uh, this phone has uh, comes pre-installed with um, some Chinese apps. Now I'm gonna advise you please do not delete the app store if you do you're gonna break your phone I did that and it took me about five hours to get this thing fixed okay so please do not delete that app okay now I have already managed to root the phone uh, the phone also has the Play Store already okay and just to go to some of the specs of this phone it runs MTK 6577 dual core with Android 4.1 it has a uh, 4 inch uh, they, uh, the diagonal uh, size screen. Um, once again, it's in uh, high resolution. Uh, it comes in 8 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte option. It has a rear 8 megapixel camera with the LED flash. Now, this little dot you see in between, that's actually a reset button. Okay, you can actually just, uh, which I already kind of scratched the glass a little bit, if you can tell, um, if you press this inside it'll actually reset the phone okay um, on the very back as you can see we have the Apple logos which it looks uh, oops we have the Apple logo which looks uh, identical to the original one here's the original iPhone and as you can see they look very similar okay there we go so as you can see both phones are very similar okay uh, uh, also it has uh, 7.6 millimeters uh, of thinness okay and I'm actually gonna measure that right now with this tool I have so let's turn it on there we go and we're gonna measure it make sure that it is 7.6 there we go okay this is the uh, Goofon i5 and this is the original iPhone. Of course, it's going to be uh, 7.6. Now, this is slightly bigger than 7.6, but it's still it is considered 7.6 no matter what. Okay, on the front screens, we see that they're both identical sized. Okay, the only thing that I didn't like, and I will actually because of this reason, I will recommend the black version of this phone is because uh, even though it's a nice phone and it has nice display the two sensors don't look good on the white one that definitely tells that you don't have the original thing okay if you look at it from the bottom we see here that both phones use the lightning connector okay this lightning connector right here and I'm actually going to show you that it does work on the iPhone so here we have the iPhone 5 let me once again turn Siri on hello Siri I don't understand. Okay, so 
we're gonna plug in this cable and as you can tell already the iPhone is charging okay now we're gonna do the same thing with the Goo Phone i5 there we go it's also charging okay there we have it so now you see that this phone in fact does work with the lightning connector the same as the iPhone you do have this shortcut at the very beginning that if you just light it up you can get to the camera okay here we have the camera and the camera does need uh, I can, you can either use another app or um, something that will allow you to have more focus on the pictures because right now with the standard camera app is not actually the best but from here you can see the pictures are quite decent but they're not the best okay um, let's see here once again I have uh, installed the Play Store thanks to uh, the routing I already did onto the phone so here we have the Play Store and we're going to actually um, download an application right now let's do Angry Birds let's see here Angry Birds there we have it it's loading right now let's download it now this phone reminds me of the original uh, well not the original the this phone reminds me of the Goo Phone Y5, which I did a lot of development on it. Uh, the Goo Phone Y5 at the beginning had a really laggy um, operating system. Uh, and then, of course, throughout time, it was improved because this phone has a lot of potential. I can tell, and you can tell by the screen quality, uh, this phone is not, uh, doesn't feel cheap at all. Okay, and uh, let me move this out of the way. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and wait them right now. Let me turn this on. There we go. This is, of course, the Goo Phone i5. It's 107 grams. This is the iPhone, the iPhone 5. I'm going to also wait it in. This one is 114 grams. So, I mean, the weight quality of both are uh, almost identical. And here you can see a lot of the similarities. Now there are some apps in Chinese like this one. It's very similar to the original one. However, I haven't gotten to actually uh, be able to translate this. Okay. Here we have the dialers. Okay. So you can see they're very similar. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We have the uh, messaging app. It's also very similar to the original iPhone 5. Okay. Uh, we also have the Photos application. As you can tell, also, it's very similar. Uh, the Weather app is also in Chinese. Now, that can be modified and changed. Just make sure you don't uh, delete the App Store, it just ruins the whole. Um, UI of the phone okay this is a video app it's used only for that purpose that's a good thing that was usually on previous clones we've seen that this is actually a uh, a file manager okay we have the notes application okay now there is something that this phone has is that you know let's say you're at the browser and you have to use the back option you have to actually hold and press and then once you hold this button down for about two seconds this arrow of back will come back and then this is home and this is menu okay so that's how um, you know you can surf throughout the web okay um, and then of course we have the uh, there we go and then we had the uh, this option which this basically allows you to do access to all the apps it allows you to lock the screen 
it allows you to actually uh, set up uh, favorite apps or, or uh, websites that you may have. It allows you to access settings, uh, uh, setting toggles like the brightness. You can set it up from here. You can turn on the GPS, the Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, and whatnot. Okay. Now, something that I also had problems so far with this phone is the APN settings. APN settings, uh, the phone doesn't allow me to set them up. Uh, but of course, um, I'll be working on that to get that problem fixed. Okay, uh, going back here to the main subject, uh, here we have the stocks application, which is also in Chinese as usual. Now, I was able already to download YouTube, the Cydia app. This is actually it's like a web browser. Okay, so um, you know this will only let you browse and uh, do some some other stuff in here. Okay, and uh, the YouTube app, of course, is just a regular YouTube, and I already have it on here. Okay, um, let's see what else we have here. The Game Center. This is like similar to a um, to an app store. It just gives you uh, recommendations for applications and and so on. Okay. Now the iTunes. This is pretty neat. Uh, this one lets you, uh, you know, browse. Uh, you know music and things that you might be wanting either to buy or just browse from your phone okay and it's not just music uh, you know it's also videos and whatnot okay it's a really nice app it's all full English okay um, here we have the settings application and as you can see it's very similar to the original iPhone 5 let me go ahead and open this up here we have on the left we have the iPhone 5, on the right we have the Goo phone, and look at the similarities already. Okay, and it doesn't lag at all, I would say. Okay, so here we have very similar uh, settings uh, display. Everything's pretty much in the same spot. Okay, and uh, of course here we have the general, you had the about, and this is how it looks like. It also looks almost identical to the original iPhone 5. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Uh, once again, uh, Wi-Fi signal is is quite decent. As you can see, the iPhone 5 has the full bar. Um, however, I just get two. Sometimes I get three bars on the Goo Phone i5. Um, however, I do get great reception. As you can see, it has full signal. The iPhone 5 also has full signal, but sometimes it loses a bar. And this pretty much stays right there where it is at. And of course, here we have the calculator. You know, everything is pretty much the same as the iPhone 5. Okay. Um, and then here we have the standard. I haven't put my music on here. This is just what it came with. We had the the iPod. As you can see, it's very similar to the iPhone. Let me just play this music right here. As you can see, it's very similar to the iPhone. As you can tell, they're almost identical. Okay? Uh, that's pretty much it for that. <coughs> of course, I'm going to just open Angry Birds, the one we downloaded previously. And here we have the quality. As you can see, it's very good quality. Okay, sorry for the focusing. And the gaming experience is really quickly also. I will also download a game so that you see how fast this phone is. I know this is just Angry Birds and it doesn't really prove that much. But however, this phone does play uh, high quality games. You can see it's very responsive. Okay, there we have it. And of course, I'm just going to show you also that this phone is rooted. You're going to tell by this app. You can see right here, uh, root permission has been granted. So that shows that this phone is actually rooted. 
Um, let me just go ahead and install um, one of the applications that I have here. Let's see. It's on. Just download my favorite one, which is, uh, let's see. Here I'm installing Shine Runner. It's a great game and uh, it does require a decent processor in order for you to be able to play it. There we go. You can also move this thing out of the way uh, whenever you don't feel like having it on your way. Okay, so here we're playing Moonshine. Let's see. There we go. You can increase the volume a little bit. Here we can see the game experience. Very responsive. And of course, guys, I will be making more videos on to how to root this phone, how to uh, do tricks to it. And of course, a lot of people already know how to install the app market once it's rooted. Okay? So there we have it. Um, Let's go ahead and look at the task killer. And here we have the task killer itself. I had a lot of things opened. Okay. So I'm going to power off the phone just so you see that it actually has the goo phone as you can tell it's the goo phone that HK okay um, also just so you uh, see how similar these phones are here we have the sides of the phone okay uh, as you can see this time the sensors are actually the same color we have the top here uh, we have the same power buttons located at the same location and of course, this phone being the same size, so cases do fit on each other just fine because they're both 7.6 millimeters thin. Now here we see the SIM cards. Um, here we see, uh, of course, the bottom speakers, the microphones, and the charging ports together with the uh, headphone jacks are exactly the same. Now what I'm going to also show you is, just move this out of the way, is the SIM cards just so you have an idea this is the iPhone 5 SIM and this is the Goo Phone SIM card okay so there we have it there you see that of course the iPhone 5 uses the Nano and um, the Goo Phone uses the regular micro okay well that's all for the video guys of course I'll keep you updated on to uh, uh, let me power this back on just so you see the goo phone symbol here. There we have it. Okay, so of course I'll keep you updated on uh, a new development for this phone. Uh, please subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.